I don't know where my fanny pack is. <laughs> that could be an issue. Oh, if it's in Dylan's car, I'm screwed. Mmm. Found it, it's right here. Uh, my girlfriend and I are about to go get laser hair removal. Oh, she made me a smoothie. What a sweetheart. I didn't even know she did that. Mm. Very carroty. Um, we're about to get laser hair removal done. And then we are actually heading up to Mammoth today to go snowboarding. Rent a little Airbnb. We'll be away from all the COVID humans in the world and just shred that pow pow. Shred the gnar. Okay. All right, we are underway. We did laser hair removal. It was not painful. I tried a new place and there was zero pain. So I'm a little iffy on if it worked, but whatever. Um, but we are now headed out to Mammoth and we're about to listen to My Favorite Murder, is the podcast. Yes. We're gonna listen to My Favorite Murder podcast. Apparently it's my girlfriend's favorite. We're almost at Mammoth, but we had to stop in Bishop, which is a little town right before it, because apparently their grocery store is a lot cheaper than in Mammoth. So we're stocking up. We have fish. A well-balanced meal. Oh, we just got to our Airbnb, and it's really freaking cute. Oh, uh, did the dog already made herself comfortable? That's her spot, apparently. But we're starving, so I'm gonna eat, and then I'll show you the place. That's my girlfriend's, that's mine. She eats meat, I eat fish. A couple blog vlogs back in the comments you were all asking me about my diet, because I used to eat everything and then I went strictly vegan. And then um, now I have a diet that's not a diet. <laughs> it doesn't have a label. It's what suits my lifestyle best and that fits with my moral compass kind of. So I eat fish and eggs, but I do not eat dairy or land meat. So if you need to label it, I am a dairy-free pescatarian. That's just what I have found works best with my body, with my health-wise for convenience. I don't think I'll ever go back to dairy or meat again, but I very much enjoy fish and eggs. It makes it extremely convenient for when I go out to restaurants, there's always something on the menu I can eat because I went vegan for three reasons, environment, animal rights, and healthiness. But there was a lot of times I was going out to restaurants as a vegan and would eat nothing but a plate of french fries and that's not very healthy. So I very much care about my body. So um, I noticed if I put egg and fish back in my diet, it was a lot of opportunities for me to eat really healthy and Oh, there was just a lot of options in general. So I eat fish and eggs, but I do not eat dairy or land meat. Anyway, now yeah, the comments were asking what my diet was. There is no diet. It's just my eating lifestyle. And yeah, I try and eat as healthy as I can. Obviously, sometimes I don't always stick to that, the healthy part, but I always try to stick to the dairy-free pescatarian part. I hope that answers some questions. It's just what suits me best in this phase of my life. Boom! Salmon and berry spring mix salad. Delicious. I ate it all. We're on a quest to poop. We're on a quest to poop. We gotta poop. I'm in Mammoth. It's very snowy here. And I'm in Mammoth. Stop pulling the leash. Whew. You don't know where to go, do you? Go potty. As soon as you go potty, I'll take you back to Mama. Ooh, it's 34 degrees right now. I'm very cold. But isn't it pretty here? She would not poop for me. So girlfriend had to take her back out to poop. Um, I want to show you guys our Airbnb. Uh, we got here last night, so it's already a mess. But you walk in, here's the front door. This cute little kitchen, okay? It's fully stocked, which is really freaking nice. And then there's this cute little living room, a little card table, whatever. Up here is the spare room, the second room. Oh, I don't know, there we go. You walk up here, and it's a little loft area, which is freaking cute. Um, there's a little twin bed queen bed. We actually invited a couple of rent couples to see if they wanted to come join us, but um, everyone had work because it's Tuesday today. Well, whatever. And then they have their own little bathroom up here, which is really cute. They have eco-friendly soaps and whatnot. I pooped up here this morning, as you do. And then this little window thing, let me do that. It's just downstairs. Isn't that cute? Aw, cutie patooties. Okay, I don't know how to fix that. I'm not gonna do it, I'm tired. Go back down here. My girlfriend got me these for Christmas. And then you have the final light switches. So I didn't know this is where the light switches were for this room last night. So I just unscrewed the light bulb because I couldn't figure out how to turn the light off. Anyway, this is the master. It's cute. It's just a bed. They got some stuff you need. They got a humidifier and some extra blankets. And then you got your sink. Ta-da! And your bathroom. It's a cute little spot. We really like it. Um, we've stayed at a lot of Airbnbs. And this one is very well equipped and like exactly what you need. It doesn't have any extra stuff. No like flu flus. Like obviously they have flu flus. Like that's a flu flu. Why do you need it? But um, you know, nothing that like they have everything we need 
to live comfortably, but not enough extra stuff that would make the place cost more, which is quite nice. And we can never find one bedroom, so there's always an extra bedroom. So we usually just end up inviting people and no one can come. Brother Bear was gonna come originally when we booked it. He was actually supposed to come, but his girlfriend gets into town on the 5th and we don't, we're not getting home till the 6th. So he couldn't come. We booked it before we realized all that. I know it's well stop running because it's cold. And then we invited Brittany and Mason, but they had just taken off two weeks for Christmas, so they couldn't come up here. And then we invited Dad and Pop Pop because they both can work from home, but they said they had a bunch of meetings on Monday and Monday was the day we drove up. So they didn't want to be in the car during meetings. And then Summer and Captain Dan, they both work you know, jobs where they have to be present. So it's us, but we, we like it when it's just us. We always struggle with, should it be just us or should we invite a bunch of people? Because we enjoy both greatly. So we just invite people and see what happens. And if it's just us, then we're like, fantastic. And if people show up, we're like, fantastic. Anyway, I'm drinking cold coffee. And we're gonna eat breakfast. I'm gonna rinse off and then we're gonna go shred the pow. Shred the nar nar bra. We made it to the slopes. And my girlfriend needs to get her icon pass. So she has to wait in a really long line while I sweat inside with all my snow gear on with the boards. It's very hot. All right, we are on a gondola to our first slope. It moves very slowly though. We'll be there by the wash us. It will wash us, but we'll be there by the end of the day. We have been in line for 30 minutes. Look at this. Apparently it's super windy, which it is, but they closed half the lifts. And so everyone is just congesting into a few lifts and it's the worst. This is the worst day of the morning. I don't know. We don't need, we're gonna do this run and then we don't know what we're gonna do from there. We'll figure it out. But it's pretty much an hour to get on the lift to then snowboard down for 10 minutes. We just got back. I just bought myself goggles, like as we were leaving the mountain. Oh, that's attractive. Um, that was like the roughest day of snowboarding. We left here at 10, walked to the slope, which wasn't that far, but it's far. If you have ever snowboarded or skied, walking in any of those boots just sucks. Walked to the slopes, drove around to get her pass. It took about 15, 20 minutes. Then we accidentally got on a gondola going back to the village instead of up to the mountain. Don't ask, just don't ask. So an hour after leaving here, about 11 o'clock, we finally got in line for the slopes, but it was so windy that half the lifts were closed down. So everyone was funneling into like these two lifts and it took an hour to get on the lift. We were in line for a lift for an hour. So we didn't start actually snowboarding till like 12-ish, 30, 12, 1230, which is insane. Considering we left here at 10 and, so, and then it was super, super windy the whole time and it was freezing. And we don't know Mammoth very much at all. We know Big Bear, so like we can like go to where we like to go and we don't have to think about it. But here we were like, oh no, which, which runs are we doing? Which ones, which ones do we like? Which ones do we not like? So it was ah, hard in the beginning. In the last like three runs we went on, we were like, oh, this is, okay, we figured it out, we were great. I was like uneasy the first two runs down because I hadn't done it in so long. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this today. My girlfriend was like, come on. But once we got it like an open slope and I got some good speed, it all came back to me, but that was a rough day. And we left early because we we're like, we don't know how to make it back. And it was all like blue, like blues with a black around it. And then blacks so we like from where we were to where we needed to be. So we're like, let's just leave now while the sun's still up. And I didn't go pro any of it because I wanted to get my bearings today. So I'll go pro tomorrow, but my toe hurts, my ankle hurts, my hip flexors hurt. I forgot how tiring that sport is. By the end of last season, I was so used to it that I was like, this is easy. God, I'm exhausted. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's it for this vlog. We did, it's a couple days later and I have vlog footage of the following days. I just haven't, I hadn't had the time to put them together and now I have time to edit. But uh, the next snowboarding day was a lot better. Don't worry about it. Not that you were worried about my snowboarding, but we ended up going the next day and it's a lot of fun. Um, but I wanted to let you guys know, today is Thursday when I upload this vlog and usually I do a live stream first Thursday of every month for charity. I'm still doing that, but I'm going to do it Friday night. So tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, there'll be a charity live stream fundraiser on my main channel. I was gonna do it today, but our Wi-Fi at the Airbnb is kind of shoddy. So, and we extended our trip a day. So I will be home Friday night to do it. Um, I don't know what we're doing yet. <laughs> I'm gonna go figure that out. But tune in tomorrow, Friday, the 7th, my main channel, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're doing a different, a completely different time than normal, but uh, some people get are sad that they can't ever tune in because um, I do it so early in the day. And time zones. It's annoying, but it happens. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll have another vlog for tomorrow and I love you. You're beautiful. Bye.